and oh, my food's here. This is Taco Tuesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the second annual um, podcast, <laughs> weekly, sorry, whatever, um, Taco Tuesday podcast. We are very excited to be doing this for the second time. I'm Molly, and I'm a host of the show, and I'm here with Kyle, my other host, not a co-host. Yes, I'm the co-host of the show. <laughs> hey, Parker, why don't you tell us what you're having to eat today? Hey everyone, so today I forgot it was Tuesday and I decided to pack my own lunch. I have two turkey sandwiches with mayonnaise and some goldfish in a giant bag. How embarrassed are you? Very. Okay. So, unfortunately, Guy Fieri, my guy Guy, could not make it out this week. He was in a grilling competition in Las Vegas this past weekend and he just got home, so he couldn't be here, but he sends his regards time with Hunter Fieri, who's my age and I could be Guy Fieri's daughter, but okay. Anyways, today our lovely guest is Drew Almonte, or Andrew Almonte. He went to Paris with Kyle and I, and my lovely roommate Maria Cirillo. They're both very interesting people, and we all did really cool things this summer. So to start off, we're going to ask Drew about Paris. Um, do you have a funny story that you'd like to share with everyone? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> I'm Andrew. Um, yeah, so <laughs> Paris was awesome. There was uh, tons of funny stories, a lot to pick from. Wait, did you have funny or? All right, I have one of the funniest times that I had in Paris. It was uh, me and Chris Kessling, if you guys know him, and we were talking to a Chinese Parisian student <laughs> um, named Teddy. Just a really funny guy. Um, everyone on the team got to know him really well. And, oh, my food's here. That's the beauty of talking food too. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And um, we got to talk to him a lot about, he loved basketball and sports and a lot of different things about America. Um, but we also had started to talk to him about like more spiritual things and like he was asking a lot of detailed questions and um, I don't remember the exact words he said, but he started, at, <laughs> he started asking us about girlfriends and sexual things. And it got really awkward, but it was really funny. And um, he got into about like how American culture <laughs> was a lot around, like based around sex. And he started talking about the rap songs. <laughs> and he was like, "All of uh, all of the American songs are like uh, dr drugs, sex, and hoes. Drugs, sex, and hoes." <laughs> and we just lost it. And then, like, right after that, he started talking about, like, Trump and the election, and it was just so funny, so, and, um, I think conversations with him were probably, like, my favorite part of Paris, because they were hilarious, but they were also, like, really solid, like, spiritual conversations, so. That's really cool. Yeah, me and Molly both got a chance to meet Teddy. He's a really funny and really cool guy. Uh, yeah, so we're going to ask both of you now, Maria and Drew, uh, uh, our regular Taco Tuesday question, which we ask every guest, and that's what is your order at Taco Tuesday? So we'll start with Maria this time. Well, what I'm getting right now, I don't think I have a regular like taco order here because I really like flautas. 10 out of 10, everyone should get them. But I got, I know, they're not cheap. So I got chicken and black bean with onion and tomatoes grilled. Um, also went for the side of queso. Um, because you put the sweet chili sauce in the queso, it's delicious. So mine is a little pricey. I also always tip because I know what it's like. So yeah, mine was a little pricey, but it's so worth it. Very good. But yes, get the flautas. Sounds good. I get um, <laughs> Molly's laughing. 
at me. I get just the normal two tacos, Taco Tuesday deal with... I usually get beef, but this time I tried steak, and it's really good. No jalapenos, no tomatoes. For those of you who may have forgotten my order from last week, it's two soft chicken and refried bean tacos on white, all the way grilled. Of course, eaten with the chili sauce. You know. Well, I'm very excited because our favorite server is coming... Uh, over here, her name's Danny, and we're we're gonna ask her her Taco Tuesday order today. So, hi, Danny, you're on Taco Tuesday. Oh, hey, Kyle, what's hey. up? Uh, yeah, we wanted to ask you what what would be your regular Taco Tuesday order? What would it be? It would be um, chicken and black bean tacos on flour with no jalapeno, grilled. You got a grill. Nice. Side of guac, definitely side of guac. Do you get any sauce on it? Um, no. No. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, I like Smack Sweet, the sweetest one. Okay, nice. Yeah. yeah Great. Thank, Thank you, Danny. Mm. Yeah, Danny is our favorite server, no doubt. So, um, well, she's our favorite because she recognized us and she actually got excited about Taco Tuesday. Speaking of uh, you may excitement, have heard her at the end of the last podcast, if you listen, if you're a true fan. Speaking of excitement for Taco Tuesday, I just want to take this moment to um. To snap back at all the haters that didn't think there would be a second episode, because we're here. And um, whoever gave us the one dislike on YouTube, we see you. So go undislike that. Um, but honestly, like, thank you guys for listening to this. Kyle and I are like so excited that people actually enjoy this. Parker is also excited. I am also here. If you're, if, if you forgot, thank you. Right. I'm so sorry, Parker. Uh, okay, so I think it's Maria's turn to tell a story. Um, Maria was also out of the country this summer. She was in Costa Rica for two months, serving with a ministry called Face of Justice that deals with like sex trafficking and um, all of that stuff in Costa Rica. So, a story? I decided to go with the funny one because it's the one I know best off the top of my head. So yeah, I was serving um, with a ministry that reaches out to prostitutes and people in the sex industry and works to like stop human trafficking. So one day we did a Bible study in the red light district and it was the first time we've ever done one there and like 50 women showed up. A lot of them were like drunk and high. So there's just like a lot going on. And so someone on staff was like, Maria, can you just like take the kids upstairs? And like we had markers and like coloring stuff. And important side note, I do not speak Spanish well. People think I do, but I'm Italian. So I don't know any Spanish. I knew basic stuff. Um, and at this point, I could like kind of understand things, but not really. So I take these kids upstairs. They're like seven years old. And they're like getting really frustrated because they like knew I didn't speak Spanish. And I was just being really awkward. And then all of a sudden, they start asking me something with like the markers. And I was like, I don't know. Okay, I guess they want to like color or like do this craft or whatever. So I was just like, yeah, see, see. And they start coloring on my face. So at this point, I could have been like, okay, stop. But I was like, you know what? They're having fun. So they covered my face in markers. And like my staff member came back up to check on me and was just like, what happened? So everyone was very impressed that the gringa let little Spanish kids color on her face. <laughs> that was a really funny story. Thank you for sharing. Here, you can ask the next one thing you want the world to know about it. So our next question is for both of you, what is one thing that you would want the world to know about you? Who would like to start? All right, here we go. Okay, I guess it's back to me again. Mostly because Molly used this as an example, and I think it is, it's, it's uh, appropriate, so I'm just stealing it for myself. Um, that I am punk, not a poser. There's a lot of posers around here. I'm not one of them. Guys, I'm the real deal. Posers and haters on Taco Tuesday are on the same list, and it's not a good list, y'all. No, that's a doghouse right there. <laughs> Drew, Andrew, Almonte, what is one thing you want the world to know about you? Um, <clears throat> so I just thought of this off the top of my head, because I'm doing it right now. I want the world to know that I love 
crumbling up my chips and putting them on my tacos or sandwiches or anything of that nature, and everyone should do it. It gives a nice crunch. Do you put chips on your sandwiches? Yeah, I like to like crumble up Doritos or Cheetos and put them on my sandwiches. Grade A, y'all. This is the most inspiring thing I've ever heard in my life, and I actually will probably do this in the future. R.I.P. Harambe. Okay, Molly. <laughs> Just to go back on that, that that does sound really great. I I agree with Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, let's see. Right. <laughs> Just to go back to what Molly said, I don't know if you guys heard about the Cincinnati Zoo statement on that, but um, apparently the Cincinnati Zoo stated that they are hurt and upset by all of the Harambe memes and that we should stop. They deleted their Twitter as well. I'm just getting that news from a source. Wow. All right. But I don't, I don't understand though. They just can't take the heat because I don't understand why they're like insulted by it. Like we love Harambe. We're honoring his life and they just, they think we're insulting him. How dare they? Also in my opinion, that is free publicity for them, and in my book, any publicity is good publicity. I don't know if you guys heard me yell this, but they had to delete their Twitter because they got, like, bombarded with Harambe memes, and so they had to delete their Twitter, which, like, I just love. Okay. Um, our last question. Yeah, I forgot to mention, Harambe was going to originally be one of our guests on Taco Tuesday. Unfortunately, after the tragic incident this summer, he won't be able to make it, of course. Thank you for filling out the Google Doc, Harambe. Everyone should follow your lead. Hey, amen. Okay, so we're actually all going to answer this question because I know people are always looking for new music. Um, so what is something you've been listening to lately that you just, like, really vibe with? Um... I will start. I have been listening to this for probably like most of the summer, and it is I Feel Like Pablo. Or no, 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 sorry, The Life of Pablo. Pablo. Sorry, there's a shirt that says I Feel Like Pablo. The Life of Pablo by Kanye West. It's just like a really good album at the beginning. (laughs) And then it gets like a little rough, but like the first few songs are great. Ultralight Beam is definitely a fave, so check that out if you're interested. Yeah, um, so I've had some time to think about this question. Um, Right now, actually, I've been hitting up some of the classics, um, listening to some Elton John, some David Bowie, some... uh, Uh, Who is Elton John? Elton John. uh, Elton John is one of the greatest musical artists of all time. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. R.I.P. Harambe. Uh, I, I mean, Elton John is awesome, and uh, so David Bowie and some Billy Joel as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, in addition to that, though, I of course, uh, for those who don't know, I'm a huge Switchfoot fan, and they came out with an album what? earlier this summer, and I've been what? listening to a lot of them. Yes, for those who didn't know, the Sal Sabalas <laughs> is a big Switchfoot fan. So, so yeah, for sure. Uh, Parker, you got something? Yeah, so um, I don't really have a specific song for any of you guys today, but a couple of artists that I have been listening to, and this goes out to all you country fans out there, I know you're out there, and I appreciate you all. Thank you, Andrew. As I was saying, though, if you if you are a country fan out there, then I would definitely suggest you go check out Brothers Osborne, and I've been listening to a lot of Chris Stapleton recently as well. Two great country artists. You guys should go check them out. Okay. Um, I've been listening to this album a lot. I already had it, but it's been on my record player. The band is called Pity Sex. They're not a vulgar band. It's like a... I don't know how to describe them, but if you know them, you know what kind of music they are. The album is called Feast of Love. Um, it's a great, great band. They're like... They're not punk, but they're like rock, I guess. I don't really know what to call them. I need Chris for this genre, but I'm going to say like shoegaze. They're very good. Oh Check out uh, the song Honey Pot. It's, a, it's great. Um, I'm supporting Parker on the country music. <laughs> However, my current listening genre is not country. Um, 
So, I've been listening to a lot of uh, Chance 3, which is... Uh, Let's make it real good to snatch that Grammy. <laughs> yeah. It's good stuff. Uh, Y'all should listen to it. <clears throat> and I really support Molly's uh, decision on uh, shouting out to T-Lop. Um, and then uh, Need to Breathe's new album is a solid one, so check that out. I don't think so. Well... I <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, great. Um, so, guys, thank you so much for being on our show. Um, we're going to call this, and uh, we had a very successful episode of Taco Tuesday, I'd say. And uh, we got to also, you know, speak out to the memory of Harambe. Thanks for being there. Um, and to all you haters out there who think there won't be an episode three, just get ready. There will be an episode three. There will be. Yes, Parker, what do you have something to say? Um, you know, we've talked about our, our haters a lot. These past couple episodes, I'd just like to give a shout out to our fans as well for being great and supporting us from the beginning. Thank you, Parker. That's important. And to go along with that, if any of you would still like to be on our show, we have quite a list, but we still want more. So please go fill out our Google Doc. Also, we just love getting like random um, Google Doc responses. So like, if you want to respond under the alias of I don't know Harambe like we love that so like please do that but also if you want to do it seriously do it seriously no we've gotten responses three from Guy Fieri who's already a host on our show so I don't, I don't even, know why you guys keep yeah, trying to get him yeah uh, he's already a host so and then of course Kim Kardashian uh I don't remember. We got a couple Kyle, other ones. you're literally being so rude right now. Yep. Kim's on the show right now. See so, you know, uh, No, uh, so thank you for, for your responses. Thank you for your support. And um, this is Kyle, Molly, and Parker, joined by Drew and Maria, signing off. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>